why stop now guys um, now I'm gonna do my top 10 running guns on the Mega Drive slash Genesis and uh, there's some great ones to behold so let's get into it um, number 10 with this terrible sticker right over the name is Ranger X now I know many consider this a great, great game, and I can see its merits, but I'm a complete noob at it. I haven't given it enough time, and I'm a bit confused by the controls, and it just hasn't really clicked with me yet. So it definitely deserves to be in the top 10 from um, what I can gather from playing it, but I'm sure once I get to, to grips with it, it probably will go up about five spaces in this. But uh, one of the very last Mega Drive or games to come out very late in its life. Um, really innovative, and... It just takes a bit of getting used to, and I just really have to give it some time, but Ranger X definitely in there. Yeah, how's that? Got number nine. Skeleton Crew. Uh, this is one of the most darkest themed games. It's got like an industrial, grimy soundtrack, which is really nice, and um, weird and creepy characters here and if you recall from one of my passwords it's got one of the funniest blurbs on the back just really out there but this is like an isometric running gun um, it, it's alright it, uh, it's really enjoyable to play you got passwords it's not a long game and it, it's pretty easy so um, if you feel like something just for sort of brainless um, run and gun action which you don't have to get punished too much this is a good game to play and I like it for the mixture of its theme the music and the gameplay is pretty good with the isometric um, effect is you know up there with the best with that particular aspect number eight is Universal Soldier now I usually steer clear from um, uh, licensed games, but I heard this is actually a gem in disguise. This is actually Turrican 2, basically just with a uh, sprite swap. Turrican 2 came in on the Amiga, and um, this is released by Accolade, and they've just suited themselves and brought it out in their own cardboard boxes. It's got a chunky manual there, but it's black and white, and they've got that strange looking cart. But this is it's got a real retro feel about it. I, I like it. It's Turrican, you know, good um, thoroughbred there um, with its gameplay. And but they've replaced all the cool original sprites with oversized Dolph Lundgrens from the movie <laughs> for the bosses and stuff. But um, classic Turrican action here. Password support. Lots of stages. I like that. So you can just pick up a play and come back to it. Haven't finished it yet, but I have enjoyed it. You can exploration the levels is another good aspect of this. You're all over the show. And um, you know, Turrican and Running Gun is synonymous, so it has to be there. It's pretty worthy. Number seven. Oh, did you see that one? Um, Mercs is um, it's cool because it's got two modes of game on this. You got the sort of balls out um, arcade mode carnage, which is pretty easy and um, just fun, brainless running gun. Um, classic get past the cringe-worthy PAL artwork. I really want the Japanese version. It's called Commando 2, I think. And um, it's good. It's, the other mode has got a bit more depth to it and strategy. Um, the, the special mode you can choose in this. So it's actually two games in one and they're quite different from each other. So that makes a uh, really boost it in my book and it's a classic, classic running gun there with Mercs. Then we have another Turrican game here, the awesome Mega Turrican. Love this game. Oozes cool, um, cool weapons, um, crazy enemies, uh, diverse stages, you know, swimming and all sorts. And um, you have this like um, swing mech where you can swing from things, so it takes a bit of getting used to, but really, really cool game. Cool wee voice samples and stuff. I must go back to it, I never finished it. But um, you can just see here cool graphics and um, detailed. Turrican at its finest. Uh, I, I must get the SNES version because that's a different game altogether, Super Turrican. And 
And number five, Sunset Riders. Absolute classic, fast paced, hectic, two player option, um, co-op, awesome. Yeah, this is brilliant. Uh, you know, cool western theme. And the Mega Drive version's quite, I uh, didn't get a sense of it as much as the uh, SNES version, so you got all the girls in the saloons you go and do whatever you do with and um, come out energised. And the Indian stage is uh, awesome and just so fast paced and just intense, you know, this is this is running gunning at its finest, it really is. So Sunset Riders definitely deserves to be there. Number five. Okay, now we're getting down the real good end. Number four, Vector Man. Vector Man. Um, I haven't got part two, I must get that. But uh, apparently it's really quite similar to this, and this is a great run and gun. I just, you know, like it's amazing like the potential of the Mega Drive and what they did with it near the end of its life. This is a truly great game, and I always play it if I do with the um, arcade stick because you can do um, configure the buttons, um, so you can use your double jump plus have uh, auto fire because it didn't have auto fire, um, which is a pain in the ass, but you can get around that, and that really makes the game really fun, man. This, the controls are sweet, the graphics are amazing. The system, yeah, it's just so class, and this is another one I must get back to to finish sometime. Um, really respect this game and it's a great running gun all around. Apparently it's, oh, I had a look at um, cheats and stuff and there's all sorts of unlockables and stuff you can do apparently, like the list goes on and on. Uh, looks really interesting. So there's lots of depth in this game and um, a, tr a true great on the system and a truly great running gun. And number three, one of my favourite games ever. Um, Pro Protector, uh, aka Contra Hard Corps. We got the robots over here. I actually like the robots better than the um, humans. It's this game, Konami, the beloved Konami, they're just outdone themselves here. This is an amazing game on all different aspects, you name it gameplay, graphics, multiple paths, endings, cool characters, diverse weaponry, intense. Level design gameplay, jaw dropping graphics, you name it, this has got it. Um, but it's fucking hard, like it, it demands that you um, play it and learn it <laughs> inside and out, basically. But I can't really talk. I have got a wee way through, but I made the mistake of putting it down for a week or so, and then you just lose it, you know. You, you have to really stick with this game, and um, but man, talk about an awesome game. Um, Man, it's, it's. Don't know what else to say. Contra Hard Corps or Pro Protector, absolute must have. Masterpiece running gun. So, so good. Okay, number two. The legendary Gunstar Heroes. And um, once again, cringe worthy PAL artwork. I must get the Jet version. But um, this game, you know, I was talking about. In my SNES shooters, um, games like uh, Cotton 100% with all the color palette, and the, the SNES has an amazing color palette. We all know the Mega Drive has a rather limited one, but it still can um, get some good colors and schemes, etc. But it also, you know, Gunstar Heroes is a, an example of how what can be done with a limited palette. It looks amazing, colorful. Treasure have done a great job. Treasure games are always like that, and. Um, Admittedly, when I first played this, it was so hectic, I sort of thought, what the hell is this? But once you get into it, it's just rules. And the articulated bosses, the animation with the articulated boss is insane. Awesome, just jaw-dropping once again. The fast pace, the diverse gameplay that switches it around, the humour in it. Yeah, this is the um, sort of bonus round stuff. And it's just out of this world. It truly is a masterpiece, Gunstar Heroes. And, you know, it's been recognised as that. And, one of the greatest games ever and deservedly so um, you know treasure awesome and fittingly for that number one is another treasure game 
and it's almost hard to believe it came out on the Mega Drive. This game, Alien Soldier, my number one running gun by a long shot, is just awesome. As soon as you turn it on, you hear the music at the start. It literally just, oh, it's just awesome. And it's just a series of boss fights, basically. And the bosses are epic, and there's so many stages. I haven't finished it yet. I must have been closer. I must have played through about, you get a pass through every boss you beat. I must have played about 24 bosses. And, um,. Made the mistake of putting it down in a couple of weeks, you know, and just losing the net because you sort of got to get a net for this. Once you do, you're in the groove and you'll have a great time with it. Cool weapons, uh, just so unique, so awesome, so amping, so intense. You know, this is one of the most intense games out there, and um, just brilliant. It's such a pity that it, it's not more common for more people in, to enjoy. It only got a um, uh, PAL and Japanese release and I'm pretty limited I guess because I don't see many of them but a truly truly great game and um, well worth the money fork it out for you know your, the, it's the whole package I guess collectability and just the ultimate ultimate game one of those holy grails for sure sweet guys so that's my top 10 running guns on the Mega Drive some really quality stuff there sort of sweaty palms and tense action which running, running guns should and compass. So there you go. I'll probably see you next time with the top 10 SNES beat em ups. Catch up.